Imagine if there was a website where the worst of humanity's violence was demonstrated in a glorious fashion, all for the sake of entertainment. One where those not brave enough or capable to perform the violence themselves can purchase such content for a price. Just the idea of a website with these intentions is disturbing. But what if I told you that this idea was once used to promote one of history's most violent video games, Manhunt? This is the exploration of Valiant-N.TV, which is one of the most frightening promotional pages ever created for a video game. On May 24th, 2003, a website with the domain name of valiant-ent.tv went online, available to anyone fortunate or unfortunate enough to visit. Real hardcore content, exclusive lifestyle goods, an all new Valiant online store, and videos to order are what greets the viewer immediately with a strong embellishment of red, black, and white contrasts. Just looking at this one page already lets us know that something is gravely wrong with this website and by clicking to explore further we are about to discover something very, very disturbing. Valiant Video Enterprises, Fetish, Hardcore, and Brutality. There is even an email for prospective buyers of such content to inquire about these videos for purchase. Simply send a message to a Mr. Nasty for more information. Clicking on the email prompt will lead you to this an inquiry page with a creepy, disembodied face, as if someone is being snuffed out, and a login box, but we don't have enough information to continue, so let's head back. Through a quick glance, we can see that there are three links we can click on to view more information. Firstly, what is described as an all-new valiant Hall of Pain gallery, which is supposedly Mr. Nasty's best content, and another link that appears to sell those lifestyle goods mentioned on the previous page. The last link is one that is for members of the site to presumably talk with one another about the content of this website together. After this final link, there is a small square image of what appears to show the deed being carried out somewhere between a dark, dingy alleyway, and we witness this through what appears to be a grainy feed of a CCTV camera. One detail to note about this page is where the video can be ordered to any video format showing that whatever or whoever is behind this site is technologically sophisticated. These two pages that we have visited so far demonstrates that the world building is only getting started. On the Hall of Pain gallery page, where it is explained to us that Happy Snap, an instant camera, can point, shoot, and capture that moment forever. There is a total number of five pictures that we can view, the first of which is the author of the page, perhaps Mr. Nasty, placing lights, and as he describes it, setting up for a night of mischief. 
The next image shows a possible victim of his, only having the caption of, In he goes. The immediate picture after shows the author directly behind the man, exclaiming, Nice hood! before evidently attacking him. Then, as if there was a break in the sequential order of the pictures, the next image shows someone in red, short-sleeved clothing with a bag over their head, with a writing on the image that proudly states, bagged it, with a caption of, gone shopping? The last image appears to the return to the ambush, where it shows the author of the page's author ensuring that his victim is definitely not returning to fight another night with the caption of given a good kick in to end this disturbing montage of images the page is ended with a simple quote from mr nasty who has simply written i honor pain Heading within the online store, branded as an adult store, where satisfaction is guaranteed, there is a list of fun items that are available to members for purchase. Again, Mr. Nasty is present on this page with an email ready for inquiry, and surprisingly, only credit cards are accepted on this page. Looking through the first four items, are admittedly harmless. However, the fifth item, a wooden baseball bat selling at $150 a piece, is described as a nice thing to own, and that some are stained with blood and other fluid, and that all bats are signed by you-know-who. A hammer, that is the same as actually used in many valiant productions. A sickle, that is, a handsome collector's item. Nightsticks, some with bite marks. A machete, that made an appearance on last year's Xmas special video. And a chainsaw with blades dull for extra pain. The juxtaposition of a normal merchandise store is even added at the bottom of the page, where orders over $500 receive introductory name sticker tags for free because it adds that party atmosphere and are an extra bit of fun. These are the items that Mr. Nasty guarantees absolute satisfaction 100% of the time. As you can see, there is no end to the depravity between the users of this site and these seemingly normal everyday tools. Delving into the forums of Valiant, where nothing is off limits, the many characters that plague Carcer City can be witnessed in their disturbing thoughts and desires, rambling on about whatever subjects, such as asking when the next hunt will be. There is a wealth of information that can be found which establishes the multiple factions of Manhunt effectively. The presence of Mr. Nasty is consistent throughout the forums as well. For the design of this particular section of Valiant, the blank classic forum with a sinister twist keeps the tension suspending because we don't know for sure who is behind the screen and what they do. What we do know, however, is what they are capable of. While I could show you the content of each disturbing forum post, I believe it would spoil the fun, and I strongly recommend that you visit the Manhunt wiki page to see for yourself.
given the extreme nature of this website and the game it represents. A question that many fans of Manhunt have asked is, would a remaster or an equivalent game ever be possible in today's culture? Personally, if you are asking me, I don't see this game ever being recreated in the same manner. Just look at the characters, the factions, and lore behind Manhunt. A similar plot could theoretically be recreated with today's modern dark web. After all, you definitely do know a thing or two about the dark web. Imagine a game in that setting. In conclusion, the Valiant-N.TV promotional page for Manhunt was a disturbing and excellent example of the darker side of the internet. While the website's content, promotion of violence and gore, in addition to the disturbing open forum for discussing and viewing the snuff films were deeply unsettling, the controversy surrounding the game also sparked important and necessary conversations about how we can approach violence in video games and the responsibilities that the developers have to delivering products to their audiences. Today's gaming industry lacks the courage that Rockstar North took to create this game in addition to this very disturbing promotional page. Instead, Opting to use tired formulas and predictable storylines, and while the controversy surrounding Manhunt has faded over time, the legacy of Manhunt and Valiant Enterprises.tv continues to be an excellent point of discussion for fans of the series and those that discover this game. And now, you have seen how Rockstar North has created what I believe to be one of the most terrifying and effective promotional pages ever created for a video game.